In this video, I'm going to tell you the difference between scale to frame size and set to frame size in Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm going to tell you which one you should be using. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. All right, this is going to be a quick one, so let's dive in. I'm working in Premiere version 23.2.0, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. So if you're working in Premiere and you have a variety of footage that's all different sizes or resolutions, you're going to need to resize everything to fit it into your sequence. And you can do this quickly with one keystroke. There are two options for this. The first one is scale to frame size. So for example, if you have a sequence containing clips of all different resolutions and you want to get it all to fit in your sequence, you can select all your clips, right click on a PC or option click on a Mac and select scale to frame size. And now you see all of your footage is the same dimensions as your sequence. You've got some black bars here in some cases, but at least every clip is touching the edge of your frame in two places. So it looks like you did the trick. It's all resized. Here is the catch though. With scale to frame size, Premiere has rasterized every clip to make it fit in your sequence. Rasterizing basically means that Premiere has converted your images to a smaller size. And now your new clip is smaller. See, the scale says 100, even though your sequence is bigger than this. This can be a problem though, if you're planning on scaling up your photos again at some point. So for example, if you wanna zoom in here to do a camera move, your photo is now a lower quality file. So it's not gonna be as crisp. So how do you resize all your images quickly without this happening? Well, this brings us to set to frame size. So instead, you should choose set to frame size, which doesn't rasterize your clips. It just reduces the scale of each one to fit into your sequence. So select all your clips, right click on a PC or option click on a Mac and choose set to frame size. And now if you look at the scale value, it says something less than 100 rather than 100% because your clip is still its original resolution. Premiere just made it smaller in the sequence only to fit your frame. Now when you go to scale it up, the quality will look better because the original resolution of the photo or video clip is still the same. you always want to choose set to frame size. Why lose quality if you don't have to? Honestly, I don't even know why scale is an option, but it is. All right, that's it for me. As always, if you found any of this to be helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.